Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Steve Breach coming to you here today. I uh, have a uh, unboxing to do, honestly, from eBay. Um, this is for my card collection. Uh, I, I uh, don't make a lot of videos on my on my card collection uh, when I just sort of get PSA things. I, I think I just normally just take a picture and put it onto uh, uh, Twitter, but. Um, I wanted uh, to show these off because I thought they were pretty cool things to add to my collection. Most importantly, uh, my wrestling card collection where I, I don't have um, a lot of uh, graded cards. And I, and I found uh, four big ones. Uh, all the auctions ended within minutes of each other. It was probably like they got listed uh, one, two, three, four. Um, so I bid on all four and when it all came down to it, um, I won the, uh, the cards at the, the price I wanted to pay. I didn't have to overpay or go chasing for them or anything like that. Um, it's basically, uh, three, uh, well, it's four cards, but it, when it comes down to it, it's, it's two different cards. And, um, we have, uh, the WWF rookie cards of, uh, Hulk Hogan and Roddy Piper, and um, they all come uh, in different uh, uh, grades uh, on the cards. Uh, but we'll uh, check these bad boys out because I think that these are uh, really cool ones uh, to add to the collection. Sorry about the uh, the interruption there. That was actually my, my bug guy. Um, but these are the uh, WWF rookie cards um, of uh, Hulk Hogan. Uh, and, and Roddy Piper. Um, I picked these bad boys up, and I'll honestly tell you by looking at the cards, um, I'm already a little lost on uh, what's going on here. But uh, the first card, uh, the top card of the lot, was uh, Hulk Hogan's 1985 WBF. Um, this is a PSA 5, so this is not the, the best graded card of all time. Uh, but at the time, honestly, I bid on this card. I didn't think that I was going to win the other cards that were a higher bid because I wasn't really to, to dive on in and pay uh, 100 bucks each. Um, but then we'll follow that up by going with a Hulk Hogan uh, PSA 7 right here. Um, uh I'm a little lost why there are different numbers in the set with the same exact picture. Uh, one is yellow, one is blue. Uh, the difference uh, would be the backs. Uh, card number one of the set uh, basically says that the World Wrestling Federation champion Hulk Hogan took his championship belt from the Iron Sheik in January of 84. Um, the Hulkster takes on all the challengers. He has 24-inch biceps it's part of a 66 card set it says and then card number 16 just basically says that he is the world wrestling federation champion uh follow that up with the same one of card number 16 uh blue background this is a psa 8 now i'm wondering if maybe i should have actually looked at what i was buying because these are from the same set but is card number one his rookie of the set, and this is just like a subset card? Um, or they both kind of looked at the rookie, even though one's number one, number one and one's number 16. We live and we learn. Um, and then we're going to follow that up with Roddy Roddy Pipers. Uh, this is card number seven of the set. Uh, interesting. Piper making his entrance, it looks like, as he comes around the ring. I don't really know why he has that. I don't even know if that's a shit-eating grin on his face. I, he just doesn't look happy to be there, honestly. Um, but the fans are all fired up that he's there. Um, but this is a, uh, PSA 8, card number 7. And these, um... I would bet, because of their lot numbers on the cards, are all from the same person's uh, collection. They all got graded all at the same time um, because of how close the numbers are. But we have uh, 1985, Roddy, uh, or, sorry, 1985, Hulk Hogan, 
uh, card number one and a PSA five. We got card number 16 and a PSA seven. Same card in a PSA eight. And then Roddy Piper's rookie in a PSA, PSA eight. So there we go. 1985 tops, WWF cards from back in the day. I honestly, I was four years old when these came out. I don't have a huge memory of those. Um, I do have a memory of, I believe, the 1987 tops, which is the set after these. Those are the ones that have the red, white, and blue border. Um, but I have more of a memory from the uh, the sets after that, where I would buy more of those cards. Uh, the red, white, and blue ones, I don't think I was buying, or I guess I don't think my dad was buying for me at the time. They were new. I think we were just kind of finding them, and they were wrestling cards, so we were picking them up. So do some more information on the Hulk Hogan and uh, see what's going on.